truck's next big step towards sustainable transport solutions will be taken when the next generation of drive lines, the iTalk, hits the market. Unlike the standard Euro 6 engine, it's primarily optimized for long haul transportation and has the potential to save a lot of fuel. How much you save with the iTorque is of course dependent on how you drive. We see very good saving compared to Euro 5, up to 4%. Combined with the minor hardware updates of the new FH series and the innovative driving system IC, fuel consumption can be cut by as much as 10%. Just like the Euro 5, the iTorque engine is available at 460 horsepower. The big difference is that the iTorque manages to generate a much higher torque than the Euro 5, 2,800 newton meters, compared to the previous 2,300 newton meters. The iTorque engine is also optimized for much lower and narrower revs, between 900 and 1,200 revs per minute. Within that optimized drivable span of 300 revs per minute, there are fewer combustions and less friction, which makes the engine more fuel efficient. However, driving within such a narrow band also means there is no margin for the loss of power, which puts a high demand on the transmission. Normally, it shouldn't be possible to drive in such a narrow band, but with a new iShift 2, that actually works with a power shift. It gives the perfect support to the driver. The iShift 2 is basically two shifts in one, or more correctly, two input shafts where each input shaft is alternately connected to the engine through two clutches. This makes it possible to change gear instantaneously, losing hardly any power at all. When the first gear is engaged by one input shaft, the next gear is already being pre-selected by the other input shaft and you have a seamless step from one gear to the next. The iTorque gives the driver the perfect drivability. You have a quick response, you have a quick and smooth acceleration. The driver can really focus on traffic and traffic safety and the fuel consumption that is solved by the technology in the engine and transmission.